our approach commonly with the AC joint is we're gonna inject both inside the joint and then we're also going to inject into the capsule and potentially the supporting ligaments around the AC joint. Dr. Turman at Regen Performance. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, what questions can I answer for you? What's going on? So, I uh, looked into your uh, your practice because I got an AC joint. I remember, like on and off for a few years, and then I got into boxing and it started flaring up like pretty much chronically. And then I had like issues sleeping on it, and it's, you know, painful like quite a bit of the time. And I'm actually in MRI tech school, and so I've had some MRIs done on it. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to see about if I could get, you know, injection or something to help it kind of heal or something. Okay. Other than physical therapy, have you tried anything else? I haven't tried anything else, no. Okay. Was there an original injury in the first place? Not really. I could, I just used to lift weights a lot and then I could feel my, like if I was doing shrugs, the muscle that comes out to it from my neck would just pull on it. Yeah. So I don't know, just overuse and then it just never got better. Okay. And then uh, where do you feel the pain on your shoulder? On, on the top or is it kind of from the front side or, or deep in that AC joint area? On the top and then deep in it. All right, so what specific questions do you have for me about the injections or PRP or anything like that? I don't really know too much about it. I have a friend that got some injections on his knee and it really like fixed him up completely. And I was just curious, yeah, what I could do and yeah, how much it costs. I, I know it's not cheap, but I'm willing to do, I want it to get better, so I'm willing to Okay, so since you're not overly familiar with PRP, I'll just kind of walk you through the process for that and why we might choose to use PRP in a situation like this. So PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. That's where we're gonna draw your blood, we're gonna spin it down in a centrifuge, we're gonna extract out the layer of plasma that is rich in platelets. Platelets are little cell fragments that contain growth factors and cytokines and other cell signaling molecules that can help kickstart a new healing process when we inject it into an area of damage or injury. We can also get a reduction in inflammation because of the changes that we're getting in the tissues when we inject the platelet-rich plasma. So if the tissues are less damaged, then the inflammation can go down. The platelets will also recruit some of your own stem cells to go into that area to assist with the healing process. And so that's one of the other ways that the platelet-rich plasma injections can be beneficial. How old are you again? I'm 30. Okay. In terms of the AC joint, a lot of times what we see is that patients have had some mild AC joint sprain in the past, which has led to increased wear and tear from movement inside the joint. Or if there was a mild injury in the past, you have a little bit of irritation and inflammation that occurs at that original injury and it never fully resolves. And so people can get some kind of long-term or chronic issues with that. Our approach commonly with the AC joint is we're gonna inject both inside the joint and then we're also going to inject into the capsule and potentially the supporting ligaments around the AC joint. So we might inject the coracoclavicular ligament or the coracoacromial ligament if we suspect that there's been a sprained ligament there in the past based on our physical exam and our assessment. Sometimes people will have a little bit of bone marrow edema either within the clavicle or the acromion. Do you recall from your MRI if there was any increased signal on a T2 fat set? Yeah. But yeah, I'm not, I couldn't tell you 100%. Okay, that's fine. And so obviously we would just want to review that MRI to determine if we felt that we needed to do an intraosseous injection as well, where we might go either inside the clavicle or the acromion if there's excessive degeneration in the cartilage or if there's any bone marrow edema and we wanted to address the joint from both sides because that's sometimes what we need in our more advanced conditions. Okay. So you, you'd need a uh, copy of that MRI? Yes, please. Okay. Yep. Yeah.